I'm going to show you how to demote an Active Directory domain controller. So to start, I'm logged onto the domain controller that I'm looking to demote. And the first thing I've done is I've gone through all of my DHCP scopes, as well as any statically assigned devices, and made sure they're not pointing directly to this domain controller for DNS. The next thing I'm going to do is run a command prompt. And then within the terminal, we'll run net DOM, query FSMO. And this will return the five FSMO roles, and it'll tell us what domain controller the FSMO roles are currently hosted on. What we want to make sure is that the FSMO roles are not hosted on the domain controller that we're trying to demote. And if they are, we're going to have to move them first. In my case, these are already on a different domain controller, so we don't need to do anything. However, if your FSMO roles are on the server that you're looking to demote, I will link a different guide in the video description on how to move these roles. Once no devices are pointing to the domain controller you're looking to demote, and it's not hosting any FSMO roles, within Server Manager, we can come to Manage, and then press Remove Roles and Features. Click Next through the wizard. Select the domain controller we're going to demote, and then click Next. And then we can untick Active Directory Domain Services. We can then click Remove Features. You'll get an error which says the validation process has found problems, and that is because it is currently a domain controller. So before we can actually remove the feature, we need to demote the server first. We can select Demote this domain controller, and then follow the wizard through to actually demote the server. I'd recommend that you don't try and force the domain controller and just let the wizard do itself. So we'll leave that unticked and then click Next. We've got a warrant to say it's a DNS server and a global catalog. We can then tick the procedure of removal as we do want to demote it. Then we can click Next. We'll leave Remove DNS Delegation ticked so it'll also remove that. And then we can click Next. Now what we need to do is set a local administrator password. Because the server is currently domain controller, it technically doesn't have a local administrator account. So this will re-enable it. So we just set a password here. So now this will set the password for the local server administrator account. We can then press next. We can then review what we've set. Once we're ready to actually demote the server, we can click demote. It will then demote it from a domain controller and then reboot the server. Now the demotion is finished and it's rebooted the server, it's taken us back to the login screen and we can now log back in. So I'm going to log in with a domain account. As even though we've demoted the server, it is still connected to the Active Directory domain. Now I've logged back in, Serve Manager has automatically opened, and the server is no longer a domain controller. If you're planning on repurposing the server, the Active Directory roles and features are still installed. So if you come to Manage, and then Remove Roles and Features, we can then come through the wizard and actually remove the Active Directory domain services. So if we untick this, and then Remove Features, it'll no longer give the error to say that it's still a domain controller. We can also untick DNS, and then click Next through the wizard, to actually remove the services. Now the roles have been uninstalled, we just need to restart the server to finish removing the features. And then the last part of the cleanup we need to do is if we come to one of the other domain controllers that are still part of the Active Directory domain, within Serve Manager, we can come to Tools and then Active Directory Users and Computers. And then if we come to the Domain Controllers OU, we can just make sure that our previous domain controller has gone and it's no longer shown in the Domain Controllers OU. We can also come back to Serve Manager and then come to Active Directory Sites and Services. And then within here, we can come to our Sites, and then just go through all of our Active Directory Sites, and make sure that the domain controller that we have demoted has gone. In my case, domain controller 02 is still here, so we can just right-click the domain controller, and then select Delete. We can then click Yes on the confirmation, and that has removed the demoted domain controller from our Sites and Services. So that's how to demote an Active Directory domain controller.